Today I received yet another uh, malicious document. It was uh, a spreadsheet, it's here. So let's analyze it with uh, my Oli Dump tool. Now my Oli Dump tool is a command line tool, it's a Python program. But we are not going to use the command line directly here. We are going to use one of my other programs sent to CLI. And this uh, program has a graphical interface, a GUI, which allows you to execute command line uh, programs. So let's run this. Here it is. So it will execute on this file in uh, this directory. And now let's select the command from the drop down list here. Oli dump. This is the command that I want to run. Okay, and here we have the streams. Now, if you notice a stream with the name Oli01 native, then you know that you have an Office document with an embedded OLA object. So this is stream 5. Let's uh, select stream 5. Here is uh, the ASCII dump. Now to have uh, more information about the embedded object, you can use option I, like this. And then here you have the name of the file uh, that was embedded. You can see it's a VBS file, a VB script file. Now, uh, remark it's VBS. VBS is not actually the same as VBA. And also it looks like a URL, but it is not. It is actually a file name. And then uh, you have uh, two other folders. Uh, the folder where the file was actually stored and then the temporary folder where the file is uh, stored when executed. And then the size of the file. To see the content, so to view the file, we can extract it with uh, option E, like this. Okay, and here you can see that it is an obfuscated uh, VBS script. Now, we will uh, deobfuscate this. And for that, I'm going to use an, uh, another graphical tool. It's uh, my clipboard manager. So let's copy this to the clipboard and start my clipboard manager. Uh, which is here. So let's get this from the clipboard. Okay, so this is the actual script. You can see here all kinds of strings with the mid command, the mid uh, function, sorry, mid function allows you to select a set of characters from a string. And here we are selecting from the ninth position, so the ninth character, and we are only selecting one character. So we are going to try to deobfuscate this here in my tool. So first we are going to split this uh, script here with the ampersand so that we have one mid uh, function per line. So let's do a split. So the ampersand character, that's where we are going to split. Okay. And here now we have uh, the mid Commands. Let's uh, delete this. And you can see all those uh, mid commands work on a string of the same length and always select the ninth character. So that's what we are going to do here with my clipboard transformer. Okay, and in the end we have a shell object that runs the string that uh, is uh, executed here. So let's delete this too. Now we are interested in these strings. So let's select this string and then go to the menu and say keep column. Keep column will delete all the characters that are not part of the column that I selected. So let's do this and we have the strings here. Now let's look at that ninth character. So we are at character one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay, so the first character, the ninth character here, actually, but the first in our list is a C. 
and then we have M and, and then a D, so you can see CMD. Okay, so again, we are going to select and keep this column like this. And now you can already start to read the command, the obfuscated command. It's CMD slash K PowerShell. Okay, now let's join this, all those lines here with the join line function. That's the function here. Okay, and here we have our uh, the obfuscated string. So it's a CMD that launches PowerShell, and this PowerShell downloads a file from this URL, saves it in the temporary folder as a cap file, then expands that cap file to an executable file and then it runs the executable file. Now if you are interested in my clipboard transformer, I uh, released uh, a beta, just uh, look into the comments for uh, the download URL.